We ought to just line, you know, this, the, this cement wall. We ought to just line all your parents up there. Cut them down like the fucking dogs that they are. Most of the people on this, this is what you should do. Metaphorically speaking. You should roll down the inside of your fucking fat mother's thigh, you stupid cunts. Don't you realize that? And everybody doesn't deserve to be alive. Who the fuck said that? And you know what the snowflakes say? They say, Mr. Pena, every snowflake ever created is different, which is true of the trillions and gazillions of snowflakes, right? And so we're all different people. And this is with this fucking earrings and the, ah, the shim. As opposed to snowflakes melt under, under pressure. You don't deserve to live. And if you really believe that we're going to run out of food, which is a load of shite, and you're worried, kill yourself, metaphorically speaking. If half the world killed themselves, we wouldn't have a food shortage. We'd be cured overnight. Personal development. You can't measure personal development. The morons will eat it up like ice cream. You can't fucking measure it. How do you measure personal development? You don't, you fucking retards! You cannot measure personal development. And here you are. Now think about that. I don't think too hard because you don't have even that many brain cells. I don't give a shit. Nobody, don't you understand? Nobody cares about all the trials and tribulations of your fucking weak, cut lives. Don't you understand that? What the fuck do I have to do here? I saw every regret since I'm born till I fell dead in my son's rehearsal dinner flashed before me in a hundred millionth of a second. Every fucking regret she ever had. We're all energy, kids. Every fucking regret she ever fucking had, she saw in a millionth of a second, flashed before her. And that's what I've been telling people for 50 fucking years. And the only reason I'm, the way I'm going to find out is if i got to die myself first and be brought back. So if you think that when you die, it's all over, it ain't. And Steve Jobs knew that. So every miserable cunt-like thing you did in your miserable fucking life is going to haunt you the rest of eternity. If this is, I hope is a stretch. They could spit on your wife and you wouldn't do a goddamn thing. They could say your wife's a filthy slut whore and you don't do a goddamn thing. What the fuck happened? And your wife will pull you by the arm. Oh, honey, we don't want any trouble. Get away, bitch. You're not fucking hit him with a brick. <laughs> and you're hoping that she pulls you a little harder so you don't have to show like you had a pair. What the fuck happened? Is every man in fucking Britain a meaty mouth weenie? Almost all. There's a few of us. Dis oh, disgraceful, actually. Shocking. Uh, oh, shocking. Are we going to do anything about it? No. Money is free right now. We have the lowest interest rates in 5,000 years. What are you going to tell your grandchildren? What are you going to tell your children 20, 25 years from now? What did you do, Grandpa? What did you do, Grandma, during the greatest transformation of motherfucking wealth in the history of the world? What did you do? Other than sit on your fucking hands. What did you do to take advantage of the greatest transformation of wealth in the history of the planet? What did you do? Not a fucking thing. That's what you're going to say. Not a fucking thing. Because I was too much a coward. I was too much a weenie. I was too much a fucking cunt. And when I say cunt, I mean coward. I didn't do anything. And that'll be your regret. Mr. Carnegie was a hard bastard. Vanderbilt was a hard bastard. Henry Ford I was a hard bastard. 
Rockefeller was a hard bastard. Steve Jobs was a ruthless hard bastard. As Apple CEO Cook regularly begins sending emails at 4.30 in the morning on Sunday, he's a hard bastard. Why are all these guys that changed the world got one thing in common? They're fucking tough as nails. Ruthless. Take no prisoners. And then we got you. A stiff drink and a good fuck could kill most people in this room. I'm ashamed to say. In fact, forget the stiff drink, just a good fuck. You know how many people I've called board members whores, you filthy fucking whore? Get the fuck out. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. I say it so easy because I've said it a million times. Because you still care what these assholes think of you. You still want to be like, and some people in this room are pleasers. Your mother was a pleaser. Your father was a pleaser. And look what they produced. Losers, pleasers. <coughs> and why do, I, why do I treat everybody like shit? And why have I been so fucking successful over these 25 years? Because it fucking works. And the reason you're here, you snowflake cunts, is because nobody treated you like shit. Tough love works. You fucking weenies. Tough love works. I'm the alpha male father you never fucking had. Most of you should have never been born. You should have rolled down the inside of your fat mama's leg. But that's why you're here. Now we're going to talk a little bit about IQ. Let's just for this example say that we all got 100 IQ. For some of you, I'm taken away. For some of you, I'm given. Okay? Can anybody have... 10 or 15 or 20 times our IQ at 100? No. Well, then why do people every day achieve 10 or 20 or 50,000 times more than we? If they can't have an IQ 10 or 20 or 30 times more than ours. Because they dream bigger than we. They dream bigger. I asked you, would you like your kids to be like you? I know the answer. I asked you, would you like your kids to be like your parents? I know the answer. But would you like your, you see, you have nothing, you can't do anything about your parents or grandparents, right? They're there. But would you like your kids to turn out like the fucking bums that you chill with, that you fucking hang with? Fucking bums. I know the answer to that too. And you can't blame your parents or grandparents, only but indirectly, because you chose those five mates. Nobody chose those cocksuckers but you. And you chose them because you had no self-esteem, no self-esteem, no self-confidence whatsoever. And that you can't blame your parents for. Strictness is good. Sensitivity equals poverty, guys. Jesus Christ, look at you. Are you proud of where the fuck you are? No! You want your kids and grandkids to come fucked up like you? No! I hope to God not anyway. So don't bullshit yourself. Sensitivity equals motherfucking poverty. I don't do anything except think about how to make you retard better. <laughs> you know why I have a sore back? 25 years of carrying you fat asses across the goal line. <laughs> 25 years, and not everybody deserves to be alive. So let's get that fucking thing straight right now. And if you think that, you're retarded. Some of you should have rolled down the inside of your fat mama's leg. <laughs> and that's a God's truth. Whoops. Do you realize the rest of the world laughs at us? Do you realize the Russians think we're all faggots? Do you realize most of the Eastern Bloc countries think we're faggots? Because we are! We're an embarrassment to humanity! I believed in Santa Claus, the Tooth Fairy, and uh, that kind of stuff until I was 11 years older, more or less. I got in a lot of fights about that. 
But in grammar school, I was the biggest kid on, on, on the, not campus, on the schoolyard. And then everybody caught up with me when we went into junior high school and high school. Um, but um, so my, my family, my mother allowed me to believe in Peter Pan and stuff like that. I was old. Now you can't tell the kids the truth quick enough, can you? You got to take the fucking dream away from them, can't, don't you? You got to fuck up their life forever, don't you? Just like they fucked your life up, don't you? You can't fucking stand to see them happy like this. You fucking retards. It's unbelievable. Look what the fuck happened to you. God almighty, it makes me cry. Look at it. Now look at you miserable fucking shitbags. And for those of you that mothers, I blame you the most. I've got a whole graphic, metaphorical, metaphorically uh, explicit talk about this in mothers and having babies, but I'm not going to, we're an institution of higher learning here, so I'm not going to go through that. But just imagine the worst fucking things about not having kids, and then go about a hundred times worse than that, and that's my talk. You're bringing the kids in this world for all the wrong fucking reasons. You get married for all the wrong fucking reasons. You stay married for all the wrong fucking reasons. Holy shit. Sally, metaphorically, you should have taken a revolver and stuck it up your fucking mouth and blown your brains out. Because what good have you brought to the planet? None. What good have you brought to the planet? None. None.